Hey everyone, Tony here with a very special edition of Classic Elite Reviews. I'm so glad you could join me as we take a look at cloud-based gaming. Now when I talk about cloud-based gaming, I'm talking about the OnLive Game Service. The OnLive Game Service has been out for a, a quite some time now, and they promote cloud-based gaming. It's gaming with a digital copy, playing on a system or a server somewhere else, and it's ported through the internet to your living room, either on your PC or on the OnLive game console. So I had a chance this week to sit down in a space that hardcore gamers know well, and that's the living room, with the TV, and hook up the OnLive game console and take a look for myself and see if cloud-based gaming is something I could really enjoy. I think you're going to be impressed with my results this week as we review the OnLive game console. Let's take a look. Now the first thing you're going to notice about the OnLive game console, or the OnLive micro console as it's called, is the packaging. Now I'm rarely impressed with packaging, but I was floored by the packaging of the OnLive game console. From the brown shipping boxes it came in, to the actual box that you see here. It's a very thick cardboard, it's very professional. There's actually even molding inside to hold the controller and the game console in the box. Very, very impressed with the packaging, and you can tell right away that you're getting a quality device. You can actually see here how small the console is. I'm able to hold it in one hand. Just a very small rectangle, really sharp design, and a small form factor. Now, getting to what comes with the console, there's an HDMI cord that you see here. It's got an HDMI uh, port by default. Um, you can also buy a component cable, which I'll get to in a bit. There's a USB cable to charge or plug in the controller to make it wired. There's also an Ethernet cable. Now this device does not have wireless, and that's probably one of my quips about the device, especially for the future. For now, it has to be hardwired in. And then there's also the power cable. So that's what comes with the console. Let's get to the controller a little bit. The controller is absolutely stunning. It's like a PlayStation 3 and an Xbox 360 controller came together to form the perfect match. They pretty much took the actual design uh, feel a lot like the Xbox 360, a little bit of a thicker, taller controller. The D-pad buttons feel like a PS3 controller. The analog stick placements are in the same place as the PS3 controller, but they're stiffer like a 360 controller, and it definitely has good trigger buttons. I am a huge fan of this controller. I love it. It's very easy to use, very easy to handle. It feels great, and you can tell right away from the holding of the controller that it's very high quality. You will definitely, if you've especially been a console gamer for a long time, love the controller. And then there's also a restart rechargeable battery pack that comes with it, as you can see me plug in there. Now to the actual micro console itself, it's very heavy. Um, it gets very warm when it's turned on, which is something I didn't like about it either. But over, that was like probably my only complaint about the console. Um, very small form factor, as I said. It's got two USB ports and a power button on the front, as you see here. Um, you can actually plug an Xbox 360 controller into this device, and it'll pick it up, and you can use it. So the system comes with one controller, and if you need an extra, you can plug in the 360 controller, which is nice. Now you can see the alternative AV for the component cables and the HDMI port on the back. It also has analog audio out, which is nice, especially for the component cables. It has optical audio out if you want to use high-definition audio. You see the Cat5 Ethernet cable input, and you can also use a wireless bridge with this, and then the power port as well. So overall, the console, like I said, great form factor, feels great, it's nice and sturdy. That's everything you get. Now to the actual service. This is what it looks like when you fired it up. And you can see the several different icons here. I'm just going to kind of explain what each one is. I really enjoyed messing around with this. It's a, it's a lot of fun, and they've done a great job designing the software right from the bat. First of all, you have the showcase, and this is updated daily with the latest deals and steals from around the OnLive community. This is one of my favorite parts, the arena. You can actually make friends this way, which is a great community aspect. You can go in and watch anyone's game who's playing an OnLive game right now. Here's someone playing basketball. Um, you can befriend them. You can like them. Um, it's just really, really neat how they formed community. You can just get in the arena and watch people all day. There's also a profile page where you can keep track of your friends. You can record brag clips and upload them to social networks. So a lot of community aspects here. 
I also love the live marketplace. Now, OnLive is all about cloud-based gaming. You can go right in, you can pre-order games and buy games right at the marketplace, and then it organizes all the games right here for you in the My Games category. Really neat. You can switch to any game you want at any time. It organizes all the games you've pre-ordered and ordered right there. You can jump right into a game. There's also a friends feature with a voice chat beta, which you can experiment with. Um, all your brag clips are recorded and you can watch all your brag clips and then you can also automatically jump to the last game that you are playing. And this is the on live kind of the dashboard which you can go to at any time by hitting the center button on the controller. And you can just basically go through all the features of online, jump to different games, change settings, all that live real time in the game. Now I wanted to show you some great game footage I captured from my on live micro console using the component cable attachment recorded with the Hapog HD PVR. As you can see the game looks really good. This is Warhammer 40,000 Space Marines. Just take a look here. I'm going to let you watch a little bit of this and show you a couple other games as well. Here you can also see Batman Arkham Asylum. You can see that the graphics look very well. All of this is streaming on my 42 inch LCD TV. Looked really great. I have an internet connection running about 7 megabytes per second and I had hardly any stuttering at all. I was very pleased with how well the cloud based streaming service worked and you can tell on live technology folks really put a lot of time and effort to making sure that it works well. Here's some, also some footage of Dirt 3. You can go ahead and laugh. I'm horrible at racing games, and so I wreck right off the bat here. But as I said, the game looks really good. Uh, what I really like about the OnLive game console is that it's, it provides an option for you to play a game on the TV. Since everything is cloud-based, you can switch between your PC and your TV. And it's just really a great form factor for multimedia um, system hookup. It looks great in your living room. It's a really nice uh, system and I really didn't have any complaints about how the system worked and how easy it was to set up. Overall very impressed with it. Like I said my probably only minor quips with the system is that you have to have a hard line plugged in. I, I think eventually when wireless technology gets better they're going to want to find a way to expand that a little bit so I wish they would have went ahead and built wireless into the system. And my only other complaint with it is that the system does get really hot when it's turned on. It doesn't seem to be vented very well. Overall, I'm a very big fan of online on live gaming. I was very skeptical at first with the cloud-based system, but after playing it, I have to say I highly recommend it here at Classic Elite. You're going to be seeing a lot more reviews from us based on the on live system, and I encourage you to pick this console up today. You can pick it up for $99 at onlive.com.